What's going on guys? Rob from MyPPCTraining.com. Stop by and check us out. Wanted to throw this quick video together today to talk to you guys about improving your landing page experience in uh, Google Ads, AdWords. I don't even know what they're calling themselves these days. They keep switching it. So that's a factor of quality score. So it's really important that you're you have a great landing page experience. Now there's a few factors that go into landing page experience. So we're going to jump into one of our generic landers here for one of the test campaigns we build. And I'll walk you through it. So this is ba this is a, a basic um, landing page layout that we use in the right uh, niche with the right keywords. This this page, a simple one page landing page, converts at 25 to 28 percent, which is um it's a nice money spot for us. It's exactly where we want to be. So you can see there's a few factors here that contribute to landing page experience. Now we want it to be clean, not cluttered. You want a direct call to action. Right up, right up front. So as soon as someone lands on your page, you want someone to be able to just understand what your page is about. Maybe some of the areas you service, something like that. So you're just hitting them right away with, "Hey, you came here because of this keyword that I bid on. Here's this. Here's how you solve the issue with that keyword that you searched. And hey, guess what? We also service your area. Okay. Then it goes into you know your your call to action or your hook, which is get a free quote or whatever, request an estimate, whatever you want to be. This is a plumbing page, so. Um, and guys, don't take this as gospel. This is just a, I threw this together off of a theme from Instapage, which is our landing page software. So I don't, I didn't put any time into this. I just swapped in like plumbing for like whatever real estate page this was or something like that. But you can see it's very simple. Okay, so then you have your contact form. We got our number up here. Drop a testimonial here, and I don't, I don't think you guys should use testimonials like this. Um, Social proof is much better, like Facebook screenshots of Facebook reviews or Google Ads reviews, anything like that. Trustpilot, whatever your review software is you use. Yelp. And then we have a little explanation of our services, most popular stuff like that. Some te more testimonials. This is where I would drop more social proof, not this stuff like it's on this generic page. Final call to action. Get in touch. Call today. So essentially, when you're building a landing page, now the experience, the landing page experience is uh, it's a few different factors. Number one is Google cares about how relevant the landing page is to the keywords you're bidding on that are going to the landing page. Okay, so it's really important that if we're bump, if we're uh, bidding on plumbing keywords and plumbing contractor stuff, replacements, repairs, whatever, that we're calling that out in the ad copy. I'm sorry, in the landing page copy. Okay. If you're running location, so if we have an ad group for, say, Philadelphia plumbing contractors, right, it's important that we're, we say our location. And the only thing I would add on this page, too, is probably a little section where we have our physical address for the company and uh, times that, and times they're open and stuff like that. All right, that's what this page is missing, but since it's an example page, I just didn't, there, this isn't a real company, so I didn't put anything in there, but that's something to note, okay? Um, your images, all of your images you want to have tagged um, with keywords and I, I believe we do like uh like latent semantic indexing keywords like if the main keyword is plumbing contractors we'll have long tail versions of that as image alt tags just to kind of keep relevancy on the main topic which is plumbing contractors but we do something like philadelphia repair plumbing contractors for one or something like that and then philadelphia plumbing company for this one and then this one would just be like find a local plumber or something we just work keywords into the image alt tags and and obviously we pepper them throughout the entire the entire page all right that's very important that you have keywords like this stuff here's your estimate stuff for your estimate keywords generic plumber so it's important that you work your keywords into your text too and i know you obviously you don't want to be crazy and just stuff keywords everywhere because that's going to give you a shitty quality score google's not stupid they know what you're doing so you got to work everything in naturally and another important factor is to make sure your, your page loads quickly. And Instapage is usually pretty good, so you can see. It's like a second. It loads right up, so that's really good, too. You don't want to have a landing page that um, if someone opens it or clicks an ad and goes to your page, it takes 5 to 10 seconds to open, and you're going to be toast. Not only are you going to get crushed with quality score, but your, your campaign is not going to convert because people are not going to stick around. Okay? So th there's just a few, those are just a few different, different things you want to take into factor when improving your landing page experience, is the the ease of use. Like it's easy to navigate. That's what Google cares about. How useful it is to the prospect, who, the user who's coming to it. 
how relevant it is. You can see here we call out more keywords in our text here. All right, how relevant it is to the campaign. So for each ad group, you want to make sure you're working keywords in. To uh, if you have well, assuming you have one landing page for your campaign, which you shouldn't, but assuming you do, because most of you guys probably are doing that, you want to make sure you have several different keyword themes worked into this page. Ideally, you should have a different landing page for every ad group. So we would have one for sink repair or sink repair plumber, something like that. So the whole page would be about sink repair and sink repair information. We'd have one for pipe leak repairs, stuff like that. Sewer line pipe replacement repair, stuff like that. This would be its own landing page. Ideally, in the perfect AdWords campaign, that's how you would do it. But if you're not, like most people aren't, they're just sending all the traffic to one landing page, then you got to get smart with it. And you got to pepper all of your topics throughout the uh, keyword topics throughout the entire page. All right, so really important to understand. You have to have relevancy. That's all AdWords cares about is relevancy. They want your ad groups. So, so let's say your ad group is plumbing contractors. Then under that ad group, every keyword has to be about plumbing contractors and stuff like that. You can't have fixed pipes in a plumbing contractor ad group. Okay, that's not how it works. So if your ad group theme is plumbing contractors and all of your keywords have to be about plumbing contractors, plumbing contracting, whatever, your ads have to be about plumbing contractors and it has to go to a landing page where it's talking about, hey, I'm a plumbing contractor, let's fix your issue or whatever, okay? So that's the most important thing when designing your landing pages too is to keep the themes in mind. And you want to always, always, when creating a landing page, try and solve the issue of why they've searched in the first place right in the top headline and subheadline. All right, I usually use subheadline to just call out the location that they're in so they know like, hey, this guy services my area. All right, so as far as landing page experience, those are just things to keep in mind. You want to pepper in your keywords. You want to make sure your images have alt tags and stuff like that on them. You want to make sure it's easy to navigate and you want to make sure it loads fast. So these are all things that you can control. And there is a few more factors, but I'm not going to touch on those in this video. I'm going to make a separate one for more in-depth stuff. But for right now, that should be good. So if you guys have any questions about improving landing page experience, drop them in the comments below this video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We drop content daily now. And check out the links in the description. I put some cool stuff in there for you guys.